Hello everyone, welcome to the DPB Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Mondes with DisneyPinsBlog.com, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. This is episode number 126 for the week of April 2nd, 2018. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast. Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. Hope you guys had a great Easter weekend. It's a little light this week for the pin news, uh, but later for Disney Pin Chat, we're going to talk about Disney's pin website being down. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but first let's start off with housekeeping. So the first item for housekeeping, I want to mention our YouTube giveaway that we had up about a week ago. The response we got was amazing, and I just want to say thank you to everyone for your kind words. Um, anyone who commented on the video, um, who's been subscribed to the channel, and just all the love that uh, you guys show Disney Pins blog. It really means a lot, and I appreciate it. I think the last time I checked, there were almost 800 comments on that video, so yeah, it was pretty pretty wild. And uh, I know it was hard picking your favorite Disney character. I saw that a lot. So to enter, I asked to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment your favorite Disney character. And I know that's very difficult because there's so many amazing Disney characters. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks again for entering. Okay, so we picked the winner. Like I said, we had over 800 comments. So what I did is I put all of the comments in a number generator on random.org. Picked a number and then I went down and found that comment for that number. And the winner is Julia J. So congrats, Julia. You are the winner. We will send you the prize package. I just need you to reach out to me. Um, I don't think there's a way for me to uh, private message you here on YouTube for your address. So if you could please message me or you could send me an email at disneypinsblog at gmail.com um, or just private message me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, or Instagram. Yeah, congrats, Julia. And thank you for everyone who entered. And I appreciate you guys following along here on the YouTube channel. If you want another opportunity to win, uh, like I said, we have giveaways every single month at DisneyPinsBlog.com. Just head over there on the Giveaways tab. So thank you to all who participated and support Disney Pins Blog. Really appreciate it. My other item for housekeeping this past week, Disney announced the date for the next D23 Expo, which will be August 23rd through the 25th in 2019. Last year it was in July, uh, but yeah, next year for 2019 it's going to be end of August, uh, which is very close to the annual pin trading event at Epcot. I'm assuming Disney's probably going to be moving the annual pin event um, probably into September like they used to be in the past. I know probably like three or four years ago it was always like the second weekend in September. So I'm assuming they're, they're going to be going back to that. I really hope they don't have it on the same weekend. I think that would be a, uh, a bad decision on their part, but I don't think they'll, they'll do that. So we'll um, just have to keep an eye on that for next year whenever they announce the uh, next pin event. All right, let's get into the pin news. First, we're going to start off with Hong Kong Disneyland. This is probably the most popular post this past week. Uh, they always have those game pins that are released every few months at Hong Kong and in uh, Tokyo Disney Resort. Basically, you have to play a game and then you acquire a pin after you, you win the game. But these ones were super popular. There are six different pins. They are characters in the shape of food. So there's the aliens from Toy Story and he is inside a pumpkin. There's Judy Hopps. And it looks like she's wearing a turnip or a radish. I think it's a turnip. We have Stitch in a pineapple, Sadness in a blueberry, Chip with his body as some grapes, and probably the funniest one is Cheshire Cat as an eggplant. So yeah, there's six different pins there, and I believe I saw somewhere there's going to be 18 different designs in this series. So I think we'll be expecting more food pins coming from Hong Kong Disneyland. All right, next, I'm sure you guys have heard that Disney Frozen is on Broadway. Um, it's the new musical in New York City. And we just did a blog post with two pins you can get for attending Disney Frozen Broadway musical. There's a collector's pin, which is basically the logo for the musical. It has a snowflake on it and says Disney Frozen, the Broadway musical below. And then there's a Queen Elsa pin. It's just like a silver lapel pin, and it comes on a back card that says, In commemoration of the coronation of Her Majesty Queen Elsa, Arendelle Castle. 
The back card is pretty fancy on this pin. And uh, yeah, like I said, that coronation pin is just a very small, circular, silver lapel pin. And that is currently playing in New York City. All right, next we'll head into Disney Parks in America. First, we're going to start off with a cast member exclusive pin release. This one was spotted at Company B on March 29th, 2018. And it features the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, the attraction in Critter Country at Disneyland Park. This was also another popular pin. It's a limited edition of just 500. On the top it says celebrating 15 sweet years. And then you have Pooh Bear in the middle. It looks like he's really enjoying some honey around his mouth. It's like a gold glitter uh, which is representing the honey. Then there's two little bees there. It's stamped at Disneyland on the right. And then on the bottom of the pen, it says The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And that is available at the Company D uh, Team Center stores, released on March 29th, limited edition of 500. Very nice looking pin there. All right, now for the new pin releases this week at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. First, I want to mention that the April 2018 flyers, they always appear on the DisneyPins.com website. But as you guys know, that site is down and that's what I'm going to be discussing here for Disney Pin Chat in a bit. Uh, but I just want to mention that that site is down. The April 2018 flyers were not released anywhere besides DisneyPinsBlog.com. I noticed they were, they were released at Disney Springs. There was a, a picture of the flyer there. So I worked with Disney. I got the, the flyers for Disneyland in Walt Disney World. So that's why I did the blog post. Uh, just to keep you guys up to date and informed uh, while the Disney site is down. I wanted a place to, for the flyers to live on uh, DisneyPinsBlog.com. So yeah, that's really the only place that you can find these flyers right now is our website. I know tons of people were you know, copying them and putting them up on Facebook groups and on Instagram, but we will also continue to do the weekly pin posts at a closer look at the pins. Um, but yeah, that's why we did the blog post this week for the April 2018 flyers, just because uh, Disney doesn't have them up. Okay, so for the new pins this week at Disney Parks, we have two, and they are going to be released at both Disneyland and Walt Disney World. The first one we have is the next Star Wars pin of the month. Uh, this one features the TIE Fighter. I know there's a lot of comments about the flyer. as it's labeled wrong. It says TIE Advanced X1. Um, and it's just a TIE Fighter. That's a limited edition of 6,000 on both coasts. And then we have the next pin of the month, Lattes with Character pin. And this one features Nemo from Finding Nemo. He's the design in the latte. And then at the bottom, it looks like there is Dory there. I'm not sure what she is. If she's like a cookie or what. Uh, yeah, you have Dory and uh, Nemo for this latte. That's a limited edition of 3,000 both coasts. And retail price of that, I believe, is $15.99. And that's it for the new limited edition pin releases this week. Uh, like I said, those will both be released on April 5th, this Thursday. All right, now it's time for Disney Pin Chat. But before we get into that, I just want to head into the forums because last week for the uh, DPB podcast, Jen and I discussed summer 2018 at Disney Parks. And I mentioned in the podcast last week that I would read off some of your comments if any of you guys commented on what you were most excited for. Uh, this year at Disney Parks. So we had uh, two comments actually in the forums. First we have Corinne. She said Toy Story Land in all caps and the pins that come with it. I can't agree more. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the uh, limited edition pins coming out for Toy Story Land. And then we have Chris71855 in the forums. Uh, he said either Toy Story Land opening or the pin trading event at Epcot. Probably got to lean towards Toy Story Land because it's coming sooner. I agree, Toy Story Land is going to be amazing. And I'm really excited for the uh, pin trading event at Epcot animation celebration. It's April, guys, so that means registration's coming up for that event here very soon. And uh, we should see the new pin releases for that event in the next couple of weeks. So really looking forward to that. All right, so I think that's a good segue into pin chat this week. Um, I do want to discuss... Disney's site being down, DisneyPins.com. Um, it's d been down for a little over a week now, and we've been getting the question a lot on the website, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. No joke, I think um, I probably have got close to a hundred questions regarding Disney's site being down. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to uh, kind of talk about it a little bit so we have a place here. There is a forum thread um, talking about this as well. 
but just wanted to clear the air for anyone who hasn't heard yet or still has concern about Disney's site being down. It's not going away. Disneypins.com is coming back. It's just undergoing a little refurbishment. I think they're redesigning the site, getting it up to date a bit, and it should be back soon. So basically, there's two different teams at the Walt Disney Company. Um, from my understanding, you have the Disney digital team that runs the websites, and then you have the Disney merchandise team that's really in the pin side of things. You know, that handles the Disney parks and resorts pins. So it looks like the Disney digital team made DisneyPins.com redirect to ShopDisneyParks.com while the site is being updated. I'm not sure why they wouldn't just have the site ready and republish it instead of having this redirect in the meantime. That's all I really know right now is that it's being refurbished, redesigned, and it's coming back and probably um, the time frame that I heard from Disney is about three weeks. So we'll see what happens there. I'm not going to hold my breath to that, but um, the site is coming back and they're working on something in the meantime in case they have any uh, event updates that they can push out at DisneyPins.com. So anything regarding animation celebration. And I want to read something to you guys here from the Disney merchandise team, uh, what they said. Um, I screenshot this from someone, I think, on Facebook, but there's uh, someone sent it to us. Uh, they said, our current website has been discontinued. We have been working towards a new website, and we are informed last week that our current site was going to be shut down but we weren't aware that it was happening over the weekend. This actually happened on Friday, uh, March 23rd is when it officially went down. Uh, <clears throat> we will have a new website that is part of DisneyWorld.com, but it won't be ready for two to three weeks. We are working towards a solution for the events happening in that two to three week window. As soon as I get more information, I will share. Sorry for the inconvenience. So that's pretty much what my contact told me at Disney as well. Uh, but yeah, it's coming back, so that's exciting. I'm excited to see what the redesign looks like. Um, but yeah, this is the place where Disney would announce all of their pin trading events, any of their artist signings, and of course the new pin releases. So yeah, as soon as we have more information, we'll be sure to update the form thread. It is odpt.com gone. Someone started that. That's the abbreviations for the Disney Merchandise Pin website. Um, so yeah, I'll be sure to update that form thread, or of course I'll put something out on our social media channels um, for you guys as well. Alright, so that's going to do it for a pin chat this week. Uh, thank you guys for listening and watching to episode number 126 of the DPB podcast, and hope you guys have a great week. See ya.